some quick marks on any spot. I did. What's up, fisher people? I know how much people like the graphing stuff. We're gonna do something a little different today. All I'm gonna do is run a mic, sorry, a camera on the graph, a camera on me, and we're just gonna let it run. Show everything that we see, talk about what we're seeing, and try to catch fish in the process. But I have one little problem today. My microphones are not working. So there's probably gonna be some crappy wind noise, unfortunately. And you might not hear my voice very well if I'm not talking directly at you. That sucks. But hopefully we can still get the point of the video across. So I just drove out here a little bit and I was driving, idling at like four mile an hour. Saw some marks on the ground from this spot. So you can see what those marks look like when you're driving. They're super, super tiny. Look like little grains of rice, little bugs or something crawling around down there. But once we start moving slower, they get a little longer. And then when you sit still, if the fish sits right in your beam, it might just be a long, it might just look like a tree sitting there because they just stay right in that beam. So things look different depending on the speed you're going is the point. But now we're going to start trolling and looking for fish. We might have one fish right there. Hopefully we see more than that as we go along because I marked plenty of fish as we were going. But yeah, I'll just be watching my graph and casting. Here's a fish out here on the deep side, small little fish on the right side. And we're just dragging along flat here. So we've got a long stretch of water to just cruise down, fish around. That was a carp that jumped out of the water. Hopefully not all the fish are a carp. If I'm not catching fish in this spot, I might turn off both cameras, leave, find a new spot to go. But the point of this is more about seeing what's on the side imaging as I'm fishing. So I'm just going to let the cameras run, catch some fish. I might do some fast forwards if nothing's happening, nothing's exciting. Small fish, shadow of a fish. Those two are probably carp. Shadow of a fish, whole fish, whole fish. They're looking like tiny fish. But that's the other thing too, is like when you're driving at full speed with the boat, you're seeing all these dots around. You know there's fish, but sometimes you have to kind of slow down and look at the area to tell how big the fish are, what kind of marks they are, that sort of thing. So we'll try to differentiate too between what I think is a carp, what I think is a walleye, what I think is a bass, a white bass, maybe a pike if we see some. I haven't really seen a mark that I think is for sure a walleye yet. Pretty tiny fish. This is a big fish. Kind of carpy looking, maybe big walleye looking. I don't know. I would say these two here look like nice walleye marks right outside the boat. Looks like a third one there. Graphing really well. Skinnier marks, not a big fat carp. And we've got. Yet another lovely calm day here. I think that's a walleye just next to the boat, potentially. I'm going to throw right back at that one right there. So the first thing that I'm noticing right away is a lot of the marks that I saw when I was going fast idling with the boat, they're not really looking like what I thought they would look like when I started fishing. Don't think this spot is super, super chock full of walleye. And it depends on how the fish shows up in the graph, what they're doing when they go through, how close to the beam they get. So there's a lot of variables that make the shape of that fish look different because side imaging is just a thin beam that goes out. And they might only be in there for a moment and maybe they're like bending and making a turn when they're in there, you know, then they look like a big curve or something like it's very dependent on what the fish is doing when it goes through the beam as to what the marks gonna look like. But if they're just kind of like chilling out in their normal form, sometimes you can see a very distinct walleye looking thing. The left side's looking a little intriguing with those marks. I'm gonna throw out there just in case. I haven't thrown out deeper yet. And now that we've been moving, I gotta quarter it back behind the boat, you know what I mean? 
they're a little behind us now. Let's catch up to that. To the right side, actually, looks like there might be a walleye there. Definitely fish on that right side. A lot of shadows in there. I like this mark right here. It's a little high in the water column. So you can see separation between the mark and the shadow. So it's a little up in the air, which could be a carp thing, could be a pike thing, but if walleyes are active, they'll be a foot or two, maybe three off the bottom sometimes. There's two fish on the bottom-ish. I'd say the top one looks kind of walleye-esque. The other one, probably not. So the number of marks that are in there, we're not getting bit. So either the, the walleyes are not very active, or just around a bunch of carp, suckers, whatever. There's a lot of stuff in Skakawea. I'm going to look for some more fish and we're going to continue the show. Alright, new shoreline. You can really get into them though. You might see 10, 15, 20 of them on your side of it at all times. That's kind of what I'm looking for when it's really thick. That does often happen better when you got some wind blowing though. Concentrate them into certain little areas. When it's flat, they get a little more scattered, so we might see more scattered fish today. But... Up here, we got a little corner that goes into a finger a creek arm. That's where I would expect to see more fish. We had some boats fishing there, so I was trying to stay out of their way a little bit. They're hooking around the corner, so I'm going to keep going in there and see what shows up. Left side, deep side. Still not seeing any big schools of fish by any means. First spot had the most marks, but I don't think they were the right ones necessarily. Something tagged on the way up. Probably got the minnow. Ah. You still using sixteenths? You still using sixteenths? It's definitely a little bit of both. Missing a lot of fish. I missed my first bite. There he is. Yeah, they're definitely in here. More so than back there. Bugger. Milking. That was good. It's hard to tell what all this stuff is in there. There might be some fish in there, but there's a lot of rock and other garbage. It's a very noisy stream shot. Now you can see that graph right now. One of those fish is what that for sure. That feels more like a wally. Probably a good one too. Probably a good one. If I can get him up in front of the boat. That is a wally. 
we are still trolling a little bit, so it makes it a little tougher to get them up here. All right. That fish is eating well. Thick, chunky guy. Thick and chunky. Sounds like a cereal. Thick and chunky. Well, we caught some fish that we marked. That's that's the whole goal here. Thumped it good. They've all been good thump bites. No mush bites. But some of them have been thumping the tails. We haven't caught them. I could spot lock on some of these pods and fish more effectively, of course, but if I don't keep moving, I don't keep showing you stuff. That right side looking lively. I'm not totally sure if any of those are walleyes per se, but the active screen. Things going on. Like that, gold eye. Gold eye. That's not what I want. Curse of the gold eyes back. Fish that are a little tough to tell are like big walleyes versus carp and like catfish. Catfish, both on side imaging and 2D sonar, look a lot like walleyes. Just there. Maybe sitting still and casting will be more effective than dragging. Sometimes that's. I can go. I can go a little both ways. Fish out here. Jog over a little bit. Got him. I knew they were in there. That's a small mouth. <laughs> That's pretty cool to see. A smallmouth bite there. Tank though. Just kind of slip. There's some quick marks on a new spot. It out there far enough or not. Let's see. I did. Spot lock there. See a mark. Pitch at it. Bam. Right away. What is it? It's acting like a walleye. Ooh. Could be a really good walleye. That was how it's supposed to. Oh! It just got loose. It was a walleye. Oh, sucker. I got surprised by the bite. I don't think I got the best hook set on that. Shouldn't be caught off guard, but I was. That's what happens when you show everything. Got a few more cruising. Through the side imaging there, so I thought I'd try it again. Got him too. That looked like the right mark, so I gave it another shot. I think it is the right fish. That's acting like a wally banger. Yes, sir. I turned it on almost as they were exiting the screen, so. That may or may not show up, but it looked like the right stuff. It was the right stuff. Thump bite. Good thumper. Going back in the lake. And you can see him going back down. You can see him on side imaging, you can see him right there. On his way down. Creating a ruckus. Is that minnow so good? I'd be able to reuse that. A little repositioning. Give it a shot. Two fish on the same minnow. Let's 
see them out on the side of them, but they could be a little behind the boat. There was a pot of like three or four of them, so. Yep, got two. Whoa. Oh, buddy. <laughs> That's a walleye. It's the one we want right there. They get angry in shallow water. Now it's are acting like a walleye. No further notice. I don't know if there's any marks showing up on the screen when I cast it there or not. I was a little behind the boat when I cast it. So, like I said, it's a walleye. Not even that big, just really wound up. Really wound up. He was just like a bolt of lightning right out the gate. The other thing you notice about these calm days is oftentimes smaller fish too. But Thumped it, choked it. Just like the last one. So they're in there. There we go. He's ready to swim now. Okay. There's still fish on the side image. That's kind of the deal, you know, you just you drive around, you look for those marks, you see if you get bit. If you don't, you try some different ones. Once you get back-to-back -back bites, back-to-back -back walleyes, now you got something to work. So now we're just on spot lock, hanging out. I think we need to go back to the well. Looks like there's still some streaks over there. I think, I think that is a fish, and there's a shadow there. So they get harder to see when you're sitting still, for sure. But I think they're still there. Two of them were obviously pretty hungry, so so was that one. <laughs> now we're on it. Now we're on it. And this one feels like a nicer fish. He's not running, he just feels heavy. Look at this. Now we're on it, folks. There's still some out on side imaging. Oh, buddy. Well, if this is a walleye, it's big. Starting to think pike is a possibility. <laughs> Be a walleye. Be a monster walleye. If it's a walleye, it's so big. There's so much weight on it. It is a monster walleye. <laughs> it is a huge, huge walleye. Stay on, baby. Please stay on. Please stay on. Please stay on. Or at least get in camera shot. That fish is so big, folks. That is such a tank. That is such a tank walleye. Holy crap. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come up here. Not horsing it. Letting it play out. And then you just hope they got the jig golfed really well. A bigger walleye usually gulps it pretty good. So the question becomes does the line get on the tooth? If the line gets on the tooth, we can have a problem. Otherwise, I can't see the jig. I think the jig is way down there. We should be good from that perspective. Look at how big that fish is. Yes. Video made. We got on a school of fish, and now we got our tank. Three fish in a row. Bang, bang, bang. That is the power. Side imaging. That is a strong fish, too. That is a brute. Is incredible. The jig is toast. Let's get the 
jig out. Keep this fish wet in the net. Pick the jig out carefully. I'll set it back in the net, give it a little more water. This fish fought hard. Very hard, as you can see. <laughs> that was a fight and a half. I'll do a really quick measurement of that stick right here. Perfect. Sticks right here. That fish is 27 inches. Going back. Get the fish back home. Ready? Hopefully you like this video. If you did, hit the like button to say so. Think about subscribing to the channel. And YouTube doesn't always show you the videos automatically just because you subscribe. So if you do hit the notification button, that's a better way to know exactly when the videos are posted. And then you can watch them right away. If you want to contribute more to the channel, you can consider Patreon. I appreciate everybody that has contributed to Patreon. It's been a very helpful thing for me. It means a lot that you get value out of these videos. It makes it so much more fun to do. As fun as catching a fish like that is, I'm catching three fish in a row right here. What else is there to say? Use your side imaging, cruise around, find those marks until you find the ones that bite, and you're gonna have success on Sakakawea or any other lake. Later, fisher people.